So let's look at this sample finance plan. By now, we've gone through most of the sources of financing, so you should know the names of each one. So this is a British film, a budget of £2 million. For a start, the UK Film Council, capped at about 33% of your budget, yields £660,000. A national fund, Scottish Screen or one of the others, maybe 7%, 140000 A regional fund, you're shooting it all in Yorkshire, so they give you 18% and you've got £360,000 from them. Now you might get a co-production with another country, usually starts at about 10%, 200000 In return for doing the co-production, you might have to shoot something there one day or two days or use part of their post-production scheme, music or editing or a composer. These are all facets of co-production. We're going to look at that later. Then you've got the UK producer's tax credit. This is where you spend minimum 25% of your budget in the UK. So you can do that to qualify as a British film or you pass the cultural test, which we'll show you, or you do it as a co-production. Either way, on this budget, shot in the UK, spending most of your budget there, you'll get about 19%. That's 380,000. At the end, to make up that gap, you'd have to go maybe for a bit of equity money. 13%, a yield of 260,000. All these are perfectly viable ways to finance a film. They're all legitimate funds, and those are about the average amounts that they offer. So you've got a total of 100% £2 million budget. Other decisions you will have had to take into account are where are you shooting? What format are you shooting on? What's your post-production plan? For example, master delivery on film or master delivery on digital. We're going to look a bit more at that with a post-production expert in the production tutorial. What scope is the production? How many name actors are in it? Or is it cast with unknowns? Who is the director? What season will it be shot in? What kind of atmosphere are you going for? And are you having TV people in it? Or other named actors? Right.